Welcome to Rolling Hills, a game where you play as an adorable little robot serving up sushi in this life sim set in a cozy village where you run your own restaurant, make new friends, purchase ingredients, enhance your shop and improve the lives of neighbours around you. We're going to be playing the first few days of this game to get a good first impression of what it's all about. But hello, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Rolling Hills like I said, so let's just get right on into it. So straight away we are introduced to our character sushi bot who of course wants to become a well-renowned sushi chef and that's why they're moving to this cozy little village. We are greeted by the mayor of the town Coggy who actually lied to us and said that this was a bustling metropolis. He admits to his lie and lets me know that he wants me to open the sushi restaurant and hope that I become the landmark of the town. I mean that seems like a lot of work for such a small little robot if you ask me. Ah here's our beautiful restaurant smack bang in the middle of town. There is a market next door where we can get fresh ingredients, a cafe on the north side of town and also a workshop for us to buy some furniture. Now we have to decide the true meaning of why we're doing this. Sushi, friends or pity. The temptation right now to choose pity is very high. <laughs> I'll go with sushi. And there we go, we're given free roam to explore wherever we wish. Where should we go first? I guess let's go look up here first. What's over this bridge? Oh, a bus stop. I guess that's where we got off. Also, I can confirm we are not a road safe sushi bot. Oh, but we found the cafe, so let's go inside. Oh, what a nice cafe. There's only two tables and chairs though. And this guy is just sat on a stool in the middle of the room. Let's continue to explore. So we found a couple of houses. Doorbells broke on that one. This is honestly a very big and spacious little village. I love how I called it big and little in the same sentence. I think I'm just going to head on back to the restaurant and get our day started. So here's our empty restaurant. You've got to actually go up to this machine to open your restaurant for the day. So the plates come out randomly on this conveyor belt. And as you can see, some of them are green, some of them are pink. Pink means sweet, blue means fish, and the green one's vegetable. All you've got to do is grab the correct one that the customer wants and serve it to them. This person loved it so much, they want seconds. It's kind of refreshing and less stressful that I don't have to cook the meals as well as serve. Also, all these appliances back there, they don't do anything. As of yet, anyway. If there's a meal that the customer wants and you don't have it on your conveyor belt, you just basically go up to the machine and press it and refresh. It refreshes all the plates. You can only do this after a certain amount of time. It's like a couple of seconds. You don't have to wait long at all, which I like. I like that feature. So now at the end of the day, we get a summary of our day. So we serve five customers and we made 90 gold. I think that's a great first day, don't you? Our neighbor, the shopkeeper Armin, then turns up to let us know that we should go next door and buy some ingredients so that we can enhance our recipes and make even more gold. Sounds good to me. Because we leveled up, our sushi bot learns to make a new recipe, which means we'll get a new meal appear on our conveyor belt. So the game actually saves at the end of each day. And here we are on day two. Let's see what day two brings. I know we need to head to the market, so let's start our day there. Since it's our first day visiting the shop, Armin is kind enough to let us have our first ingredient for free. Why, thank you. Let's see what you've got. So you've got nothing over here except one vegetable. What is this? Bok choy. Okay, we've got bok choy. Or oh, we've got gumahai. I don't know how to say that. This ingredient will actually give me 10 XP to any fish recipe, and the bok choy will give me 10% to any veggie recipe. I think I'm going to go for just the bok choy for now. No reason, it's just the one I'm stood next to. To enhance the recipe, you actually have to go to the start menu, click on ingredients, and then enhance the recipe that it allows you to with that ingredient that you have. But right, let's head on back to the restaurant and start our second day. Can't wait to gain some more delicious XP from our new and improved veggie meals. You ordered the wrong meal. He wanted the fish. You're supposed to order the veggie. And again, but with a sweet meal? Do you not want vegetables? Vegetables are good for you. This person ordered everything but the veggie meal. I have to even refresh the convey about. I guess they didn't want me to have bonus XP. Ah, new customers. And guess what? Fish meal. What about you? Sweet meal. Not one person has ordered the veggie meal yet. Ah, finally. Finally someone wants to give me extra XP. I appreciate that. And a mucky table. Okay, so the tables are starting to get mucky now. We're gonna have to clean those. Wait, isn't that the mayor that's just walked in? Surely he wants me to get bonus XP. Oh no, apparently not. The last customer of the day is leaving. Let's see how much money we made today. 126 gold and we only serve six customers. I say that's a good day. Jeff then decided to stay behind and compliment our food. But we also get a lovely reminder that we can improve the food. The mayor's daughter also turns up rent to let us know that she has a shop. Bit of self-promotion going on here if you ask me. But I will come and check out your furniture, yes. And because Sushi Bot leveled up, we learned a new recipe. California rolls today. 
oh, day three, I wonder what you're going to bring today. Let's actually head on over to the market. Also, it's raining. I like the rain. I think it's pretty. Let's see what you have for sale today. So we have rock egg. This gives me 10% any chewy or filling recipe. Let's just buy that, not knowing what that means. Over here is a lusk, which gives 10% XP to any recipe. And then we have a mushroom looking thing. That gives us 10% to hearty recipes. For some reason, I thought the veggie meals needed even more improving, so I bought more bok choy, along with a cloud flower, which is for dainty or hot meals, which I don't think I have those either. So we do have a mission to visit Ren in the workshop, so I do need to start heading over there. But honestly, I can't resist some stairs. If I see them, I have to go up them. And there was this very cute statue, so I'm glad I did. It wasn't until this point that I could see a very faint gold little sparkly trail showing me where I had to go for the missions. But it means we found the furniture shop and there seems to only be three pieces of furniture in here at the moment. Each of the different furniture pieces do give perks to your restaurant. This plant, for example, is relaxing, so customers will wait longer for their orders. This gumball machine will make everything more profitable, so you'll make more money. And the TV is also more profitable, so you'll make even more money. Or gold. Well, it's, it's gold in this game. I get to buy the first item for free and I'm going to go with the gumball machine just because it's a bit more fun looking than the TV. Someone chucked some trash on the ground outside of the furniture shop. I'm gonna pick it up because I'm a good robot citizen and I'm gonna recycle it. We then have to find a place for this gumball machine. I'm thinking just right at the back here. It was super easy to place by the way. You just go into your inventory, click the item, place it on the floor and it doesn't seem to be any grid that is locked to so that's even better. I like that. Ren apparently doesn't like my placement of the gumball machine but it's not up to her because this isn't her restaurant. The perk of our gumball machine is that we make more money during the day by having this in the corner of the room. Actually a little coin pops above it when a customer walks through the door so there you go there's our profit. Overall that was a pretty uneventful day which is what we like and how much did we make? We made 202 gold and served seven customers today and we've leveled up again. I wonder what lovely meal our sushi bot led today. Fruit rolls okay. Another sweet recipe. Are we on day four now? Day four. I think this is day four. The only task we have to do today is, is grow our restaurant popularity to level five. We're level four. We're a quarter of the way through. To improve, we shall buy ingredients. And of course, I'm going to buy more bok choy. Yay, we can improve the veggie mills even more. So I finished my shopping trip and we have someone waiting outside the restaurant. I'll be right back. Just need to go get furniture. Oh, some pretty nice stuff in today. I like the couch and the plant and the sign. But I think I really want to get this table in the middle because it means we can have extra customers, right? We don't have enough money. Never mind. Let's start our day and make some money so we can get that table and chairs. It must be yellow shirt day. They both have yellow shirts. Am I missing something? Ah, oh, the last customer has left. We have finished with the day. How much gold do we make? Hopefully enough for our table and chairs. So we served eight customers and made 268 gold. I say all in all that was a good day and Maya has stayed behind to let us know about her cafe. So the cafe is actually used for socializing and improving your friendships with other neighbors around the village. So it's day five. We are halfway through our 10 days in Rolling Hills. We need to go visit the cafe today. So let's go see what that's all about. Follow the sparkles. Maya runs the cafe and she's just letting me know how important it is to become friends with everyone in town. So it looks like I'm no longer sushi robot. I'm social robot. First stop is Aaron in his farm shop. I tried to talk to him, but he was just so busy. He just wasn't interested. So we're going to have to come back to him later. Hmm, how are we supposed to befriend someone who's so popular? Let's go find Coggy. I wonder where he will be. Oh, he's fishing. Here he is. Coggy was definitely very confusing. He said he was an open book. And then when I decided to ask him about his hobbies, he said it was too personal. How is that too personal? What are you doing? What are your hobbies? What makes it so personal that you can't tell me? Anyway, let's go try our hopes with Ren. Maybe she'll be my friend. Oh my gosh, I don't have time for Ren. I need this cat lamb. What does electric do? It makes the machine charge faster so we get sushi quicker. I don't care about that. I need that lamp. When we were talking to Ren, she just came across as intimidating. And that's not very nice to our cute little sushi bot. What did he ever do to you? Be nice. Don't be so intimidating. So since we had no luck making any friends, I decided to drown out my sorrows and buy this new table so we can have extra customers and make more money so I can buy cat laps. We had to go back to the cafe to let Maya know that no one wants to be my friend. And then she told me the true way to someone's heart and happiness is through coffee. We just have to have coffee dates. Oh, I get it. Coffee is definitely my happiness. I love good coffee. 
Who should we have our first free coffee date with though? Armin, Coggy or Ren? I decided that Ren needed it the most. She seemed the most grumpy and most likely to want a coffee so I chose her and she seemed to have liked it. Also a great decision as well because now we have unlocked interior designs, flooring and wallpaper in the shop. Yes, yes, yes. Now for any future coffee dates, it's gonna cost me a hundred gold each time. That's some pretty expensive coffee if you ask me. Better be worth it. By the way, you can check your friendship level with each of the characters you just check in the start menu. Anyway, we're back at the restaurant. Let's place our brand new table and chairs. Hopefully that brings more customers and more gold so I can get my cat lamp. Let's let the customers roll on in. We are so busy with one customer. Yes, and he wants fish, which we don't have. Wait, we've got a little horn? Since when? Since when do we have a cute little horn? I'm obsessed. I'm gonna beep beep everybody. She did not just do that. She just threw trash on the floor in a restaurant. Anyway, the day is done. Let's see how much gold we made. 246 gold. Before we get a chance to go to sleep, Coggy decides to turn up and let us know he's found this book. It's a recipe book, but we can't actually read it. It's just pictures. But it's a cool find, I guess, anyway. Also, someone please take this marehood away from this man because he keeps lying to everybody. He's just told this streamer that we have 6G internet. Lies. All lies. You know what's worse about this is he told her it was free. Free high-speed Wi-Fi. And guess who's gonna have to fix this mess? Little old sushi bot me. Anyway, forgetting that happened, we did level up so we got a new recipe for our restaurant. We are now on day six of running our restaurant and we have to go see Maya at the cafe because we have to ask her about this recipe book that the mayor gave us. So Maya didn't actually know what the book said and she has to do some little alterations to me, which sounds a bit strange, you know, but it means we can finally read the book and read the recipes in the book, which is good. We then had to inform Maya that her dad has been lying, the mayor, to a streamer about having super fast free Wi-Fi that we don't have. So now we're gonna try and fix that and I have to pay for it. 500 gold. I'm feeling a bit grumpy about it so I'm just gonna go shopping for some new ingredients. While I'm here let's talk to Armin about this recipe book that we have. We have to grow a cucumber as thick as a tree trunk. How am I gonna do that? It's okay Armin will know and he will tell me. All we need to be able to do this is cucumber seeds, nutritious rich fertilizer and somewhere big enough to grow this thing. Armin fortunately already has the cucumber seeds. We just need the fertilizer and somewhere to grow it. This definitely seems like a lot of work for a little sushi robot but hey ho Let's just do it. I'm gonna buy my ingredients and get on with the rest of my day. After that, we went to see Ren again and let her know that we need a big plot to plant our giant cucumber. And of course, there's a big plot outside the shop. So I was dropping hints that I want to use that area and she said, that's fine, but we have to pay for it. Great, another 500 gold I have to save. Honestly, having to save all this money is hard work. I'm gonna buy this lucky cat. It's gonna work in my favor, but also means that I get a cat in the restaurant. See, look how cute this cat is gonna look at the back of the restaurant. See, makes it 10 million times better already. Right, let's over this restaurant and make some money since we've got to make a thousand gold for our quest. Why did this person bring their camera to the restaurant? This isn't an Instagrammable place yet. In doing so, they made my robot freeze. Don't do that. So we have another day done at the restaurant. How much gold did we make today? Oh wow, we made 376 gold and served 10 customers. At this point, I'm losing track of the days. I think we're on day seven. We do have 500 gold, so I'm gonna go pay Ren what she needs to rent her garden. I'm doing this one before the Wi-Fi one because I don't know how long it's gonna take for the giant cucumber to grow. I should imagine a couple of days. We paid all that gold and we can't even use it yet because we have to get fertilizer. We have to go speak to Maya about it. So let's go. So Maya lets me know that getting the fertilizer is as easy as just wiping the tables that the customers leave. So I rush back to the restaurant to start the day and we only need to clean five tables to get the fertilizer we need. Oh no, this person fell asleep on the dirty table. Oh dear. So you can actually honk to wake them up. It's so amusing. So that's what the horn is for. I'm glad there's a purpose, but also at the same time, I'm still gonna honk at everybody. Haha, <laughs> try to camera flash me, will you? I'm too quick. And there we have it. We finished the day. We made 400 gold. A couple of things happened today we reached our limit for our restaurant level up level five for now and we also got the five food waste so let's go see maya maya turns our food waste into fertilizer for our cucumber so now we're going to go back to ren so we end up meeting the shopkeeper here instead of ren and he's going to help us plant the cucumber i wonder how many days this is going to take if it's a big cucumber surely it's going to take a while but anyway let's get planting and adding all the rich fertilizer all that's left to do now is wait a few days for it to grow on my adventure around the town 
down back to my restaurant, I somehow found 100 gold, so I decided to go and pay for the Wi-Fi antenna at the cafe with Maya. Why not? Might as well do it, because I need to progress in the story to be able to level up my restaurant even more. We have to actually go and place this antenna for the Wi-Fi at the highest point in the town, and this is the first place I thought of where the little frog statue was. Maya thinks it's the perfect spot, but we still need to make sure, so I have to go to the furthest house away from this point to check if we still get a signal. And yay, it works. Got a great signal. Now that we have cleared up the mayor's mess and lies, we can head to the bus stop and go and greet our new streamer friend. Welcome streamer friend where the mayor gets the little sushi robot to fix his lies. The streamer Min lets me know that I can complete daily quests which will earn me extra little points that I can spend with her. They're called influencer points and I'm gonna go check out her shop as soon as I can. But it's now time to open our restaurant, let's get this day going, let's make that gold, we got stuff to buy. So that was a pretty uneventful shift, not much really happened but we did make a lot of gold. We made 412 today, 10 customers. It's the next day and I want to go check on our giant cucumber today. Seems there's been no progress so let's go shopping instead. Oh there it is in all its beauty. I'm buying this pink looking cat lamp or orange whatever color it is. I don't care it's mine. And also this flooring. I feel like I need to buy flooring. I've got a little bit of an itch to get some. Oh we ran into our streamer friend on the way back to our sushi restaurant and we actually already have 15 points and oh my goodness look at all this stuff. I can't wait to buy some of these hats. I popped our new wood flooring on the floor and our little cat light at the back there and everything just looks so perfect right now. But it's time to open the restaurant and do today's shift. It was another uneventful day. How, how much gold do we make? We made 392, not our best. After our shift, we found out that the cucumber had grown. How did this happen? Last time I was up there this morning, it was nothing there. How did it happen? It must be magic. So now that we have the giant cucumber, we can offer it to the frog. We've offered it in pieces of sushi, so that's great. I hope the frog like sushi what is this gonna do should we really be doing this with a mythical book should we be doing this everyone's got to be ready and brace themselves what is happening oh my gosh there's a person is there a leaf on your head are you a frog are you a bug i'm guessing you're a frog because you came from the frog statue i'm very confused but hello welcome frog person so after our very random day yesterday and learning that the frog person is from long ago we get a new ability we do we also get the new option to learn some new recipes from this person outside of our restaurant so that's great i just bought a new recipe for snowball rolls or whatever it was called frosty balls was it called frosty balls nope i did go and double check and it is frosty rolls i was close but yeah, I did want to come and get some ingredients and upgrade some of my foods along with my frosty rolls. Now that we've upgraded everything, we can come back and actually run the restaurant. Oh, look, the streamer's here. Hello. Also, the frog person turned up. Definitely a frog because that is a lily pad on her head. And there we go. The last customer is leaving for the day. Thank you so much. How much gold do we make? We made 392 gold today. And Ren has finally complimented us on our decorating. There's not much decorating going on, to be honest. We've got a new floor, two cat things, and a gumball machine but thank you and she's telling me that i will be able to expand my restaurant and make it bigger and because we leveled up sushi bot lands a new recipe inside out roll but there we have it i think this is a good place to finish up our first impressions this game was so much fun thank you again to sending me the key to check out the game early i really really appreciate it i'll put the steam links down below if you're also interested in picking up this game it reminded me of the older games that i used to play on the pc where you just like click the tables and deliver the food and i like that i like that it's that but more and better it's weirdly nostalgic style of play for me i don't know what it is but anyway i hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jellybean family have the loveliest days and i will see you in my next one goodbye